Welcome back everyone, I hope you're all doing good. As you can see, I'm out on a steel bike today. I always ride my um, headlands and it is a carbon frame. I love it, but I never ride this bike. And that's not because I don't like it. It's just because my other one's awesome. But today I was thinking, see that's what happens if you balance your bike with a stick. Right, so I set it up with the 650s on. I, for some reason, I feel that on a steel frame, it just feels so much better with like a big set of tires and a set of 650s. I just like it. So, and it looks wicked. And I'm probably gonna say that my bike looks wicked quite a lot as well, but um, it does look wicked, right? Yes. I don't ride this bike that often, not for like a proper fast ride. It's more of my commuter. I take my kid out on it. I don't ride it fast and I don't have a proper smash on it. So today, basically, I just want to find out, does it feel really different to my carbon bike? Is it the same? So that's today's vlog. We're gonna go out on the steel bike. We're gonna have a little bit of a chat about how it differs from carbon. I feel like a proper hipster on a steel gravel bike. Right, so I guess we should head up this lovely trail and go through the huge puddle that I think is up there. Right, let's go get wet. These rocks are huge. I say it doesn't matter what bike you ride, this is a tough climb. So on this climb, like you really notice the weight difference. Like there's nice flex in the frame because it's steel, but it's just, just not the same as a carbon frame. And it's a bit heavier. So like, it's a lot more work to get up this. I also don't have the same gearing and I have less air in my tires. So it's not solely the frame, but it is heavier. So it is a bit harder work, but it's not uncomfortable, you know? It's like handling everything that I'm throwing at it this morning. So that's really nice. I should definitely ride it more. Right, let's go and tackle this monster. Like, place your bits now if I'm gonna get up it. I'm not sure. It's hard. It's so hard. I nearly made it. That was hard. Right, I got mistaken, the big puddle is just up here. Whew. Wow, my legs hurt. <laughs> I love how challenging the terrain is here. Like sometimes I'd like to just go for a nice long gravel shred on like nice long gravel roads like they have in California, but so much awesome terrain here. And this bike's also rad. Oh look, there's the puddle, guaranteed to get wet. Not sure how deep this one is, so it's gonna be definitely more of a nibble. Let's have a look. Oh, it looks deep. Oh, I so nearly fell off in that then. Note to self, maybe check the puddle before you ride through filming. <laughs> My feet are well and truly soaked. You guys know I love a puddle. My bearings, however, yeah. But I'll clean my bike, so that's all right. All right, this looks fun. I'll tell you, this warm weather has made the biggest difference to my mood. Like, it's just so nice when that ride in shorts and not freezing the entire time. Like, I go through a lot of puddles and I end up with wet feet. So it's probably my fault that I get cold, but I can now be stupid and warm. See, awesome. I think, personally, I would have this set up as like a chill kind of fun gravel bike. And then my carbon one, that's the one that I'd always race on. Like, I wouldn't race on this, but I'd have loads of fun on it. That said, you totally could race on it, but like, I mean, if you want to do as well as you can, then, then you're probably better off going for a carbon frame. Unless you're getting a custom steel frame, but then that's crazy money. Look at this tree. It's pretty cool, right? Like, what would you guys ride if you could choose? Would you ride like a full custom steel frame or like a nice carbon frame? I'm getting a full custom steel road bike and I can't wait. It's going to be awesome.
I take it all back. I, I, I love those trails. That was so much fun. I forgot about that one. I'm happy with the trails here. I don't wish for anything. I just like what I've got. <laughs> no, that was mega. It was so much fun. It is a bit heavier. It feels a bit slower. It feels more like comfortable. It might just be the setup of my other bike. And this is just for this frame. Like if you're going full custom steel frame, it's completely different. But also you can put the power down. It doesn't like flex, it's not like soft. I can give it a proper crank and it's solid. But for me, if you're running a steel frame, carbon wheels absolutely change the ride. Look how nice it is. It's proper lush today. Right, so I'm riding along, having the time of my life, and I don't notice a massive rock, and I just smacked my rear mech hanger on it. Look, check this out. I don't know if you can see, but that is so <laughs> twisted. I hope it's my mech hanger, not my rear mech. At least I can still use my top gear, but I think I've cracked my mech hanger. Eek. Well, that's how you end an awesome ride. I'm scared to bend it back in case I snap it, so I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a slow potter here. Let's limp along home and try not to pedal too hard because I don't want to snap it. What an annoying thing. Look at it, it's so nice. I mean, it's a bit windy, but anyway, let's go. I'm trying to put on a brave face, a bit bummed out, you know. I've only been riding like an hour and now I've kind of found a gear that it like sits in nicely. So essentially, I'm just on a single speed. Well, I suppose that makes me like even more of a hipster, right? I'm on a steel frame with 650Bs and just a single speed now. Everything has suddenly become a lot harder. <laughs> oh, it's a grind to get up these hills. I'm just glad I can still ride it, looking on the bright side. And I'll get a workout on the hills now, because I've basically got no gears. My gears are quite magic at the moment. I don't need to touch them and they just change on their own. It's like the next big thing. I mean, it doesn't actually go into the right one, but, but we're working on that. Suddenly took a bit of a turn, didn't it? Like I was out having a nice ride. All of a sudden I've broken my bike. It starts raining and I'm soaked. <laughs> I loved it. It's been awesome. I think this is a good place to leave it. I really feel like we should go and get a cake and coffee soon though, guys. Like, I feel like I've been neglecting you on that front. So I've nearly done two hours, so it hasn't been too bad. And my bike held up, so I'm quite happy. Well, the whole steel gravel thing that I was talking about, like, steel bikes are fun. Bikes are just fun. Like a good bike's a good bike. You guys know that. I've just enjoyed riding my steel bike and I've enjoyed showing it to you. And look at this weather. That's my cue to say goodbye and thanks for watching. You guys rock. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.